Unit 9. Friendship. Page 34. Track 2. Listening 1. 1. I really like Allison. She's such fun to be with. She always makes me laugh. Did she tell you the story about her first day of school? I don't think I've laughed so hard in my whole life. 2. I went out with this guy a couple of times, Ted Roberts. Maybe you know him. He's okay, I guess, but the guy's got no future. I think he just wants to spend the rest of his life surfing at the beach. 3. Tony Lee asked me out the other night, and I said no. You know, he is really embarrassing to be with. Last time I went out to a party with him, he nearly got into a fight with someone. And then he wouldn't leave the party, even after everyone else left. 4. I've been out with Sandra Bronstein twice. She's really an interesting person. I didn't realize her father is a pretty well-known artist, and her mother is a successful stockbroker. I'd really like to meet her parents sometime. 5. Do you know Rod, the guy in our Spanish class? Anyway, he's invited me out on a date. You know the guy I mean. He's kind of thin, very tall, with long curly hair. And he's got those dark brown eyes. Just my type. 6. I was stuck sitting next to Martha at a dinner party the other evening. No matter what I said or did, I couldn't get her to laugh. I wonder why she is so terribly serious. Unit 9. Friendship. Page 34. Track 2. Listening 1. 1. I really like Allison. She's such fun to be with. She always makes me laugh. Did she tell you the story about her first day of school? I don't think I've laughed so hard in my whole life. 2. I went out with this guy a couple of times, Ted Roberts. Maybe you know him. He's okay, I guess, but the guy's got no future. I think he just wants to spend the rest of his life surfing at the beach. 3. Tony Lee asked me out the other night, and I said no. You know, he is really embarrassing to be with. Last time I went out to a party with him, he nearly got into a fight with someone. And then he wouldn't leave the party, even after everyone else left. 4. I've been out with Sandra Bronstein twice. She's really an interesting person. I didn't realize her father is a pretty well-known artist, and her mother is a successful stockbroker. I'd really like to meet her parents sometime. 5. Do you know Rod, the guy in our Spanish class? Anyway, he's invited me out on a date. You know the guy I mean. He's kind of thin, very tall, with long curly hair. And he's got those dark brown eyes. Just my type. 6. I was stuck sitting next to Martha at a dinner party the other evening. No matter what I said or did, I couldn't get her to laugh. I wonder why she is so terribly serious. Page 35. Track 3. Listening 2. 1. Hello. Oh, hello, Lance. This is Dave. Oh, hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Hey, are you doing anything on Saturday? Not really. Well, some friends of mine are having a barbecue. Do you want to come with me? Oh, that sounds like fun. What can I bring? Two. Hello. Hey, Paula. It's Tina. I'm calling about next week. I wondered if you had anything planned for Wednesday. No, not really. Why? Well, there's going to be a talk at the bookstore by that guy whose book we read in class last semester. Remember? Oh, yeah, sure. That sounds kind of interesting, and I don't really have plans. Great. I'll meet you at the bookstore Wednesday at 7. 3. Hi, Rose. How are you? Not bad. And you? Okay. Listen, 
Are you interested in going to an art show on Sunday? A friend of mine is having an exhibition of her paintings. It's the opening night. Free drinks and food. Well, actually, I don't have anything planned. It sounds kind of fun. Why not? Well, then, why don't I pick you up at 6.30? Okay. I'll be ready and waiting. Four. Hi, Melissa. Oh, hello, Susie. Do you have any plans for tonight? A few friends and I were thinking of going out for a pizza. Gee, I'd really love to, but I have to work late. Aw, that's too bad. Yeah, I really wish I could go. Five. Doing anything after class? Nothing much. Why don't we go downtown and take a look at the new shoe store? Great idea. I need some new gym shoes. I don't really need new shoes. I just love shoe shopping. See you after class then. Six. Hey, George, are you interested in going to the car show? It's going on at the exhibition center. Yeah, I like those kinds of shows. When is it? It opens on Saturday morning. How about we go in the afternoon? I want to sleep late. That's fine with me. Page 35. Track 3. Listening to. 1. Hello. Oh, hello, Lance. This is Dave. Oh, hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Hey, are you doing anything on Saturday? Not really. Well, some friends of mine are having a barbecue. Do you want to come with me? Oh, that sounds like fun. What can I bring? 2. Hello. Hey, Paula. It's Tina. I'm calling about next week. I wondered if you had anything planned for Wednesday. No, not really. Why? Well, there's going to be a talk at the bookstore by that guy whose book we read in class last semester. Remember? Oh, yeah, sure. That sounds kind of interesting. And I don't really have plans. Great. I'll meet you at the bookstore Wednesday at 7. 3. Hi, Rose. How are you? Not bad. And you? Okay. Listen, are you interested in going to an art show on Sunday? A friend of mine is having an exhibition of her paintings. It's the opening night. Free drinks and food. Well, actually, I don't have anything planned. It sounds kind of fun. Why not? Well, then, why don't I pick you up at 6.30? Okay. I'll be ready and waiting. Four. Hi, Melissa. Oh, hello, Susie. Do you have any plans for tonight? A few friends and I were thinking of going out for a pizza. Gee, I'd really love to, but I have to work late. Aw, that's too bad. Yeah, I really wish I could go. Five. Doing anything after class? Nothing much. Why don't we go downtown and take a look at the new shoe store? Great idea. I need some new gym shoes. I don't really need new shoes. I just love shoe shopping. See you after class then. Six. Hey, George, are you interested in going to the car show? It's going on at the exhibition center. Yeah, I like those kinds of shows. When is it? It opens on Saturday morning. How about we go in the afternoon? I want to sleep late. That's fine with me. Page 35. Track 3. Listening to. 1. Hello. Oh, hello, Lance. This is Dave. Oh, hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Hey, are you doing anything on Saturday? Not really. Well, some friends of mine are having a barbecue. Do you want to come with me? Oh, that sounds like fun. What can I bring? 2. Hello. Hey, Paula. It's Tina. I'm calling about next week. I wondered if you had anything planned for Wednesday. No, not really. Why? Well, there's going to be a talk at the bookstore by that guy whose book we read in class last semester. Remember? Oh, yeah, sure. That sounds kind of interesting. And I don't really have plans. Great. I'll meet you at the bookstore Wednesday at 7.
Three. Hi, Rose. How are you? Not bad. And you? Okay. Listen, are you interested in going to an art show on Sunday? A friend of mine is having an exhibition of her paintings. It's the opening night. Free drinks and food. Well, actually, I don't have anything planned. It sounds kind of fun. Why not? Well, then, why don't I pick you up at 6.30? Okay. I'll be ready and waiting. Four. Hi, Melissa. Oh, hello, Susie. Do you have any plans for tonight? A few friends and I were thinking of going out for a pizza. Gee, I'd really love to, but I have to work late. Aw, that's too bad. Yeah, I really wish I could go. Five. Doing anything after class? Nothing much. Why don't we go downtown and take a look at the new shoe store? Great idea. I need some new gym shoes. I don't really need new shoes. I just love shoe shopping. See you after class then. Six. Hey, George, are you interested in going to the car show? It's going on at the exhibition center. Yeah, I like those kinds of shows. When is it? It opens on Saturday morning. How about we go in the afternoon? I want to sleep late. That's fine with me. Page 36. Track 4. Listening 3. 1. I'd really like to see this. Kids from all over the country are participating, and the things they're playing sound really difficult. There's one kid who's been playing the violin since he was two years old. When is it? Let's see. It's Saturday afternoon. I'd really like to see it, but I was planning to watch soccer on TV that day. 2. Hey, this sounds interesting. You get to see how all sorts of unusual foods are prepared, and you get to try different dishes too. They have chefs from Japan and India, from China, from Mexico, and from Italy too. What do you think? Well, it does sound interesting, but I can't. I've just started a new diet, so I can't eat too much. 3. Let's go and see this. I love these kinds of events. A lot of famous people are going to be there. All of the actors who are in it are coming to see it, and the director and producer are going to be there too. Really? Yeah. We'd need to get to the theater early, though, to get a good view. Thousands of people always show up for these premieres. Actually, I'd rather not go. I don't like big crowds. Four. This event down at the bookstore could be interesting. It'll be a chance to get a famous person's autograph. Oh, yeah? Are you into autographs? Sure. It's fun to meet famous people. Yeah, but she's not really one of my favorite writers. In fact, I think her books are kind of boring. Five. Let's go and watch this tomorrow afternoon. It should be a good game. The home team just got two new really good players. But haven't they lost a lot of games recently? Well, yeah, but they are playing better now. Thanks for asking me, but I think I'll stay home. I heard it's going to be pretty cold tomorrow. Six. Let's check out this exhibition at the gallery downtown. The artists seem pretty talented. Hmm, what artists? Any big names? No, not really. They're all local artists. Well, thanks anyway, but I'm only interested in seeing works by famous artists. Page 36. Track 4. Listening 3. 1. I'd really like to see this. Kids from all over the country are participating, and the things they're playing sound really difficult. There's one kid who's been playing the violin since he was two years old. When is it? Let's see. It's Saturday afternoon. I'd really like to see it, but I was planning to watch soccer on TV that day. Two. Hey, this sounds interesting. You get to see how all sorts of unusual foods are prepared, and you get to try different dishes too. 
They have chefs from Japan and India, from China, from Mexico, and from Italy, too. What do you think? Well, it does sound interesting, but I can't. I've just started a new diet, so I can't eat too much. Three. Let's go and see this. I love these kinds of events. A lot of famous people are going to be there. All of the actors who are in it are coming to see it, and the director and producer are going to be there, too. Really? Yeah. We'd need to get to the theater early, though, to get a good view. Thousands of people always show up for these premieres. Actually, I'd rather not go. I don't like big crowds. Four. This event down at the bookstore could be interesting. It'll be a chance to get a famous person's autograph. Oh, yeah? Are you into autographs? Sure. It's fun to meet famous people. Yeah, but she's not really one of my favorite writers. In fact, I think her books are kind of boring. Five. Let's go and watch this tomorrow afternoon. It should be a good game. The home team just got two new really good players. But haven't they lost a lot of games recently? Well, yeah, but they are playing better now. Thanks for asking me, but I think I'll stay home. I heard it's going to be pretty cold tomorrow. Six. Let's check out this exhibition at the gallery downtown. The artists seem pretty talented. Hmm. What artists? Any big names? No, not really. They're all local artists. Well, thanks anyway, but I'm only interested in seeing works by famous artists. Page 36. Track 4. Listening 3. 1. I'd really like to see this. Kids from all over the country are participating, and the things they're playing sound really difficult. There's one kid who's been playing the violin since he was two years old. When is it? Let's see. It's Saturday afternoon. I'd really like to see it, but I was planning to watch soccer on TV that day. Two. Hey, this sounds interesting. You get to see how all sorts of unusual foods are prepared, and you get to try different dishes, too. They have chefs from Japan and India, from China, from Mexico, and from Italy, too. What do you think? Well, it does sound interesting, but I can't. I've just started a new diet, so I can't eat too much. Three. Let's go and see this. I love these kinds of events. A lot of famous people are going to be there. All of the actors who are in it are coming to see it, and the director and producer are going to be there, too. Really? Yeah. We'd need to get to the theater early, though, to get a good view. Thousands of people always show up for these premieres. Actually, I'd rather not go. I don't like big crowds. Four. This event down at the bookstore could be interesting. It'll be a chance to get a famous person's autograph. Oh, yeah? Are you into autographs? Sure. It's fun to meet famous people. Yeah, but she's not really one of my favorite writers. In fact, I think her books are kind of boring. Five. Let's go and watch this tomorrow afternoon. It should be a good game. The home team just got two new really good players. But haven't they lost a lot of games recently? Well, yeah, but they are playing better now. Thanks for asking me, but I think I'll stay home. I heard it's going to be pretty cold tomorrow. 6. Let's check out this exhibition at the gallery downtown. The artists seem pretty talented. Hmm. What artists? Any big names? No, not really. They're all local artists. Well, thanks anyway, but I'm only interested in seeing works by famous artists. Page 37. Track 5. Pronunciation. 1. She's such fun to be with. 2. She's really an interesting person. 3. She's the only teacher I really like. 4. He is really embarrassing to be with. 5. 
He's kind of thin and very tall. Six. I just love his sense of humor. Page 37. Track 5. Pronunciation. 1. She's such fun to be with. 2. She's really an interesting person. 3. She's the only teacher I really like. 4. He is really embarrassing to be with. 5. He's kind of thin and very tall. 6. I just love his sense of humor. Page 37. Track 6. Dictation. Do you know Sandra Thomas? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? She's in my history class. I really like her. She's so funny. I know. She makes me laugh all the time. She seems very intelligent, too. She really is smart. She gets A's in all her classes. Have you met her brother and sister? No, what are they like? Are they like Sandra? Her brother's completely different. He's intelligent, but he's not friendly at all. Page 37, track 6, Dictation. Do you know Sandra Thomas? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? She's in my history class. I really like her. She's so funny. I know. She makes me laugh all the time. She seems very intelligent, too. She really is smart. She gets A's in all her classes. Have you met her brother and sister? No, what are they like? Are they like Sandra? Her brother's completely different. He's intelligent, but he's not friendly at all. Page 37, track 6, Dictation. Do you know Sandra Thomas? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? She's in my history class. I really like her. She's so funny. I know. She makes me laugh all the time. She seems very intelligent, too. She really is smart. She gets A's in all her classes. Have you met her brother and sister? No, what are they like? Are they like Sandra? Her brother's completely different. He's intelligent, but he's not friendly at all.